Same rotate device. Do we really want to do it on a mobile phone if it's like that? Hello. Hello. Adverts. I'm getting adverts here. I hope you can see me. I hope I'm rotated the correct way because I'm using my mobile phone today because we're going to need some flexibility. Welcome, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I'm Clive Illenden. I do various unboxings and stuff, but I've never done a live unboxing um, and today's quite a special day for me. Oh look, oh, he wants me to rotate. There we are. We're going to go like that. There we are. We're rotating. There we go. That's a bit annoying. You can't do that on the... Um... Why, can't, why won't it let me do that on the old... Uh, on the phone? Must be an option to... No, that's going to turn the back round. Come back. Okay, we're back. Anyway, that's it. We're going to do it like this anyway. We're back here. Welcome, welcome. Welcome one and all. Welcome to the unboxing. So, doing it on the mobile phone, so it's a little bit different. So, I guess if you're watching on a mobile phone, rotate your mobile phone into portrait way. For some reason, if you're streaming on, the, um, on your phone, it wants you to do it like this. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, this is the unboxing of uh, a PC from PC Specialist. So, let's give a bit of background. You can see here, over here, just about... It's just uh, this is my gaming uh, laptop. It's an entry-level uh, laptop. It's an Nvidia Core i5, and it has an Nvidia GeForce GTX 950M. So a 950M is basically a pretty low graphics card. I mean, it is a graphics card, and it's specifically a mobile uh, laptop graphics card. That's the sort of thing. Um, sorry about the lag. We're doing it over Wi-Fi, so uh, you'll have to bear with, as it were. I'm not doing it on the computer. So, anyway, the specs of the new PC will be coming, don't you worry. So, this laptop is about five years old, and anybody who watched my live stream, so I do a live stream called Stadia Monday Night Chat, all about Stadia, obviously, uh, and it crashed three times. It's been crashing. There's a problem with the um, hard drive on it, needs replacing, but I thought it's five years old, I'm doing a lot of content creation. It's struggling with some of the editing that I do. So I use DaVinci Resolve, do some editing and stuff like that. So uh, I thought, you know what, I need a new PC and specifically a bit more powerful PC. So as I said before in the description, it's strictly, not, strictly speaking, it's not a gaming PC. It has a graphics card, the new thing, but I bought it specifically really for content creation. Having said that, uh, and I'm not trying to flex here, the budget was 700 quid. I can't really afford to go like bonkers. Uh, I can't really justify that. So I sort of set a budget as a 700 quid. It's a replacement PC for the family, as it were, to replace the laptop, which cost me about 700 quid as well. Um, but its main function will be content creation because I don't need a gaming PC because, uh, strictly speaking, I'm a console gaming gamer and... I have stayed here as well, and so I don't need a powerful gaming PC. But it does have a gaming uh, uh, graphics card. Uh, but let's let's bring the box forward. Let's bring the box, and then you'll see. Move my chair. So there we go. There's the box, ladies and gentlemen. Delivered by uh, PPD or whatever. Let's just crack on. I'll put it on the floor in a minute, but we'll just... Uh... I've got the specs here. on the floor because we're gonna to have to drag it out I just want to show the box it's not too heavy actually I thought it'd be a lot heavier than it was but it's not too bad oh, there we go today's video is brought to you by engage no it's not 
that was a bit foolish actually, taking that over the top of the PC. Okay, so top layer, can't quite see. Let me, um, welcome, what's in here? This is probably the welcome pack. Okay, card reader, that was one edition. Welcome booklet. Uh, user manual. Various different things. Asus. Uh, that's the motherboard. So there's a giveaway. Motherboard is a Prime 450 Plus. Okay. So the motherboard that they've used is um, a Prime 450 Plus. You may be asking, as a sort of gadget man, why I don't build my own PC. Well, I've never built a PC before, and my theory is, if it's anything like my DIY, the first time I tackle a new DIY type job, it's usually a disaster. So I do, do I really want to spend 700 pounds on parts and then mess up, not do a very good job of putting a PC together? So I thought for my first sort of proper tower gaming PC, call, call it what you will, I won't build it myself. What I'll do is I'll go to someone like, you know, Cyberworks, PC Specialist, someone like that. So I opted for PC Specialist. They have some sort of models that they've sort of recommend and prepared. And then you can um, tweak it and amend the different parts that you might want. And I did some research on sort of what my needs were. I want to do streaming. Uh, so the main processor is the key thing for for me, and obviously a reasonable graphics card, as I say, I'm not using it as a gaming PC, but I want a, a decent graphics card to go. But the main focus is on the processor so I can do editing and, and streaming. That was the key thing. So they had some um, models in their, in their sort of creator section. So they have a gaming section and a sort of, you know, a content creation center. So I use that as a model, basically. Let's just take this top, this is a top box, bit of a top box there. And then here, here it is. Just gonna put the, so this is a kettle lead. Some screws and stuff. I think they look like uh, standoffs. Do they call them standoffs for your PC board? I don't know I've got those, just in case I wanna add some stuff. Yeah, PC board, I've watched a lot of Linus Tech Tips, so I know the lingo. PC board standoffs. Um, oh yeah, and some, I recognize these, some uh, circuit, uh, motherboard connectors for power. So I guess it gives you the, I've got the sort of, the option of adding stuff, which, so my, as I say, my theory is the best, rather than build the PC for the first time myself and mess it up, I thought I'll get it from PC specialist um, select the parts that I want, tweak it a bit, and then if I want to upgrade elements to it, I can do it, you know, a graphics card at a time or, a mem you know, memory sticks at a time, whatever, and then sort of learn my way into building PC. So in three to four years' time, if I want to kind of build a brand new PC, I might have more confidence to do it then. So that was the background to it anyway. We'll put those there, and then... In here, ladies and gentlemen, have I got my space here? Looks like the real deal. Okay. Okay. take that off, peel that bit, because there's the back. And there are the legs. Okay. There we go, ladies and gentlemen.
Factory Fresh, yeah, Fox Fresh, ladies and gentlemen, Fox Fresh. Please read. Use a firm insert, a foam, a foam insert. Oh, plate at the top's a bit wonky there. Okay, no, that's all right. It's just, uh, it's magnetic. Okay, so it's just the grill. There's a grill at the top there. And it was just wonky, but it's magnetic, so I've just placed that there. We'll take off the thing. You can see, I don't know if you can see here, but you've got the fans here. Three fans. Cooling fans there. Um, please read. I could take off the... Okay, here. They stuff the inside. If you're going to order a PC, um, they stuff it here. Please read. We use a foam insert to keep all the internal components safe from damage during transit. Before you use your PC for the first time, please follow the instructions below to ensure all the packaging is removed from your PC. Unscrew and remove the side panel. Okay, let's, let's get go Linus tip style. Didn't think about that. Screwdriver. Do they want me to use a Phillips or will anyone do? Let's have a look. Okay. There we go. So, once I've uh, taken the firm, uh, foam out and taken this glass thing off, I'll go through the specs with you. That's that one. Have done it diagonal. Linus, see, I'm not listening. Linus Tech Tips always says, "Do you screws diagonal?" All right, plays Minecraft. If you want it to play Minecraft, don't worry about that. <laughs> of course, it. Um, right. Let's just take that down there and put it down there. So here we are. This is the foam bit. There we go. Right, so I've got here, bear with me and we'll, I'll get the specs up. Um, so, case, the thermal take, let's put that there, can you see that? I might just uh, bring this forward a bit and then you can see a bit more. Oh, I don't want to... Right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Case is a Thermal Take V200 tempered glass RGB edition. Three fans down here, in here, cooler here. You can see AMD dead giveaway. Motherboard, as I said. Uh, looking and reading the wrong one there. Motherboard there is a Prime Asus Prime 450 Plus. So I watched J Sense J Two Sense, and he and I was worried about whether I'd sort of bought. A motherboard that would only have sort of wouldn't be able to be upgradable in terms of the graphics cards and stuff but i watched a video by uh j two cents i think it is uh, and he talked saying that the 450 plus the asus 450 plus is quite a good you know motherboard you know good entry level motherboard does the job all that kind of stuff so i felt slightly relieved about that so that's quite cool um Processor, AMD Ryzen, AMD Ryzen 5, 2600, 6-core GPU. So that's a Ryzen 5, 2600X, it's 2600X. I think I changed that slightly uh, from the base spec that they had. I just upgraded it slightly um, than the original version that they had. I was going to go... AMD Ryzen 7, but the price jump was quite dramatic. And I said, I'm trying to keep the budget to £700 to justify the spend. That was the key thing uh, for me. And it started taking it to the 900 to to £1,000 mark just by going, um, yeah, going by a Ryzen 7. 
I've got a list here with a Ryzen 7 on it and I opted here, I made a note that uh, I opted to go back down, uh, which should be enough. And then the graphics card is a uh, 4 gig NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650 Super. So 1650 Super. So I say not a, like, you know, it's not like a, not an RTX, not a super powerful graphics card, but I don't, I haven't bought this to, to play PC games. Yes, of course, I'll be doing my Stadia gaming on here. Uh, that goes, um, that goes without saying. Uh, in terms of fans, total four. Yeah. And the main one here on the processor and then the three at the, at the front here and then the clear grill here to sort of suck in the air, I guess, as well. So they're the main, the main components. The only other addition is I bought uh, just a, a memory card reader because my camera uh, that I do my videos on has, um, yeah, uses a memory card. So I just needed that addition. So that's that's about it really. So those that's the key thing. Let's uh, let's put this on then. So we've done that. It's a uh, Unscrew, remove, uh, replace the secure side panel, turn on your new PC. Okay. Right. Let's put this back in then. Oh. Who's ringing me up? Who rings on the WhatsApp phone? Just... Bam. I'm busy. There we go. Knock it down my Fortnite characters. Yeah, sorry about that. Spam call. Is there any people who call me on my phone? Oh, I should have done is taken that off first. Never mind, I'll do it later. I'll tidy that up later. Let's just see if it works first. Right. Did it right that time diagonal, you see? Just like Linus Tech Tips says. Right. Also, the handy thing is when you... Uh, they send you an email about... Obviously, when you've got a graphics card... To remind you uh, to connect it to the screen via the graphics card and not the CPU, otherwise you won't get a picture. Um, looks like a HDMI and a display port, of which I have both. So I think for now, what I'll do is I'll attach it to the display port because I, I just so happen to have one ready to go. Let's just uh, display port. Okay. So, oh, washer came off there. Gonna watch that for the glass. Put that on later. Right, kettle lead. And let's see whether it all works, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love watching Linus Tech Tips, but uh, he knows what he's talking about. And, it, and half of what he says is just over my head because I say I don't, I'm not a PC builder. I, I, you know, I, I'm curious and I kind of watched all these videos about it and, I, and there's so many people going, oh, you know, build a, I'll walk you through, build a PC for 700 quid budget, thousand pound budget, whatever it is. And I just think, yeah, it's a bit when it gets to the wire tidying, I get nervous because it never looks like, surely there must be a better way. Surely there must be a straightforward modular way. You just buy the bits, you slot them in and you don't have to do any of this kind of internal wire tidying. That's what gets me. Right. 
kettle lead. <sighs> right, plug this in. What you want, man? Balloon factory. I'm afraid she doesn't live here. Can I can I ask who's calling? All right. And uh, okay. Um, you need to. Do you have a mobile phone at all? Yeah. That's right, yeah. So that this this number used to be our old number from our old house. Uh, and then we moved and I live in a different house, but I took the old number with me. So that's why. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I will, yeah, and then I'll, maybe I'll get her to ring, ring, ring you and sort it out, yeah. Which has been cancelled. What, what date was it again? Okay. Yeah, I can do that for you. Thank you. Bye. Right. Yeah. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Wasn't the first time in about. I don't know how long I've actually had a call on that on my landline that wasn't actually uh, spam. Strictly speaking, wrong number, but there you go. Um, okay, that's all plugged in. Apologies. Oh, oh yeah, something's heating up there. Lights are on in there. Ah, give it time, it's got to warm up. Okay. Oh yeah. Had me worried for a moment. <laughs> I plugged it in. I'm wondering why it's not working. I switched the switch on to the back. This is why. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I was nervous for a moment then. Fancy lights. I've got lighting on there. Yeah, power on. Yeah, exactly. Power on. Right. The, just for there, the power is a, a 450 watt, just for those that uh, are interested in that. Uh, let's just switch this around. There we go. Just a moment. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Voidy, why are you writing in... Um... Actually, Voidy, why are you writing in Chinese? Have you gone mad? Or are you learning Mandarin? Crazy boy. Right, what's happening there? All oh, right, okay. Oh, I need to, I'm gonna need a keyboard. And mouse, should have thought of that. Mouse, I've got a spare mouse. Spare keyboard. Put that mouse up there. Hope this works.
gaming keyboard, less than £20. Check out the video on that one. I knew I had a use for it. United Kingdom. Yeah, that works. Is this the right keyboard layout? United Kingdom. Yes. Do you want to uh, skip? Let me just get the mouse in. Um, connect. Ah, okay, I'm going to connect by Wi-Fi for now, but what I will do is at the moment my laptop is hardwired in, so what I'll do is I'll hardwire in this, but for now, let's just go, um, oh, mouse is working, that's good. Put that in there, need some space. Oh, I never did like this mouse because the wire sticks out the front, never mind. Um, connect. Going to need the old uh, Parsi word. But I hope you, I hope you like it. It's looking nice, isn't it? I think you know. I'll, I'll peel that off when we're when we're good and ready on this. Excuse me while I just. Uh, Put in your password. It's got two Wi-Fi little uh, antenna things at the back. Hopefully I've done that. Correct. Let's move it slightly. Okay. That's all connected. All good. How are we doing in the chat? Pens at the ready, everybody. Yeah. New video, someone leaked my password, yeah. I love its lights. Yeah, they're nice. It's got, um, it's got a light on the processor fan as well, sort of blue and red. I just went for red. I didn't need, I mean, it's, you know, it's um, content creator PC. I didn't really need the fancy lights or whatever, but I feel like a bit naked without it, really, if you buy a gaming PC. It's de rigueur. I could have just done a plain front and saved myself 10 quid. But you've got to have lights. got to have lights. Okay, just sign in here. Oh, oh dear. This, oh, where's the what's it on this keyboard? That's what I don't like. Where is the hash on this keyboard? Oh, there it is. See my bold head at the moment there. Okay, we'll do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want a timeline, another window to blah 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 whatever. Don't know what that's all about. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. I don't like Windows integrating with my phone, oddly enough. That's, I think that's a bit lame. Yeah, I've got a message. Install this app and sign into it. No, because if I install the Windows app, it sort of takes over the Android app on there. So I ain't doing that. Windows wants to be the default, you know, the... 
the main app for the Android. I don't want that. It's Google phone. I want an Android thing. Uh, no thanks. Don't need it. Use Google Docs. Don't need Windows. Uh, get help from your digital assistant. Whatever. Cortana. Use online speech. Uh, we'll do that later. I don't use Cortana, do I? I've got, I've got my lovely uh, Google Home. Yeah, except. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Personalized advertising, why not? Hi. I always set up Windows Office. Yeah, well, I don't. I don't want to subscribe to the, the, the Windows Office thing because I don't, I don't really use, I use Google Docs most of the time. Anyway, there, Legend, what do you think? Uh, do you like the look of it? I think it's all right. Shall we peel this off, do the peel, do the Linus Tech Tips peel? There we are for all you fetish fans out there. Boom! I need to find out. There we go. Push the RGBB button on the top of the case. You there, Tex. I didn't know that. Oh, oh, has different modes. Woof. That's cool. I like that. I mean, you know, you spend seven pounds on the computer and then you just go, oh, flashy light. <laughs> Marvellous. Oh, welcome to Windows. Uh, what's this? Switch the web, uh, switch the web and PC, whatever. No, I know how to work Windows. I don't need any of that. Get rid of that. I don't want your news either. Right, there we go. That, I, that's a, that, look. It's the same, the set, it's remembered all the, all the features. It's my same wallpaper. This is optimizing the ball guard. How's it feel? Let's open up. I was installing all the stuff in the Xbox there. Did I ask for that Xbox to be installed? Um, yeah, I do. Da Vinci, how does it know that? GeForce Experience, I'm gonna to have to update those. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I guess that's the unboxing. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to kind of set things up here now. I've got to decide whether I'm used to working with two monitors. Uh, and what I didn't think about is that actually I'm going to have to buy another monitor. Um, would I recommend for a friend? Well, I think if you are nervous of building your own PC, then I think that in between step, don't go to the high street and just get a ready made one off the shelf. Do your research, work out what you need and what is best. Um, you know, that's what YouTube's for, really. Look at people, you know, the, your J, J Two Cents or whatever his name is and Linus Tech Tips. Get an idea of what it is you're looking for. Um, and then I would go to a PC specialist or Cyberworks or someone like that. And they usually, as I say, have sort of specific models, price to budget, price to activity, what it is you want to do. And then um, having done your research, just tweak those 
specs a bit to what you want like I did. I didn't change much. Uh, I just, I think I upgraded the power supply from the basic thing and upgraded the um, processor just to within the same series, but just like the the one up, like the X or whatever. And the same with the the graphics card, I think. I just tweaked it slightly within it, within the family, within its existing family range. Um, and but you can and then you can see what your budget is you can stay within budget and then hopefully it will give you the confidence um you know if i wanted to say i upgrade that graphics card later um it will slowly but surely i'll get the confidence how to build your own pc and 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 do that and that's the idea and the great thing is it's all upgradable but i'm gonna have a play with it i'm gonna download davinci resolve see how it works with the editing and stuff see how it works with obs and things like that but there you are, ladies and gentlemen. That was the unboxing. Thank you for coming along. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I just thought I'd, I'd share this experience. And then I'll do an update video uh, just of how everything works together and how it all kind of uh, came together. But on that note, thank you for watching. And we'll call it a day, he says.